quite clearly the government would not want any transaction to go ahead that would effectively benefit Mr Abramovich personally because that's counterintuitive to the sanctions. But if Mr Abramovich is foregoing any commercial benefit from the sale of the club and it is regarded as in the public interest that the club is sold so that it's no longer his asset and, and the monies are going for these philanthropic purposes, then it's possible that the government would effectively allow a sale to go through on that basis but on the on the terms of a freezing order at the moment a sale by Mr Abramovich of Chelsea Football Club is not possible what the government has said is that under the terms of the license the club can incur reasonable cost in fulfilling its football fixtures um, both home and away so that would include travel and the cost of staging the matches at, at the home ground um, and season ticket holders, i.e. those that have already contracted with the club to attend the games, can attend. But from the moment of the freezing order, they can't enter, the club can't enter into further commercial contracts, be that with sponsors, um, be that with somebody purchasing the club, be that um, with even people buying tickets to attend the games that haven't already bought tickets.